Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, James here with a product review. Uh, going to be going over my Spud Ink Econo Lap Pull Down. Uh, this is one of the uh, biggest tools I use in my home gym at this current time. The reason is I can ask for its versatility. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to actually show you what it came and how it came in the package, how I hook it up to my home gym, and a few of the accessories I brought that uh, Spuddy did not come with, but I thought that would be there and some of the ways in which you can actually use this. So, without further ado, when you uh, first get it, it's going to come with the pulley attachment, single pulley, and this hook piece right here. This is actually what you'll use to tether it either to your rack or a pole or a piece of wood or whatever it is you use. Second piece you're going to have is your straps. You'll use these first in the beginning when you first get it. Uh, you could do your tricep extensions, uh, face pulls, things of that nature. The third piece is the uh, pin part. You'll actually end up using this to connect your weights. And this can hold a ton of weight. Um, we'll show you today some of the load that we could put on there and go through that as well. It does come in two colors, black or yellow. I'll put a link down in the description as far as where you can get this at. I got this on Amazon. You can pick this up. Super, super inexpensive uh, for about $100 if you want. It takes up very little space. I take mine, put it up, put it back down. It's one of my favorite machines to use. Um, also, when I got mine, I didn't just like the straps that it came with. So what I went ahead and did was purchase several accessories. On Amazon, I think it's called like a champion package or something like that. I went ahead and ordered me a straight bar. Rope um, extension for triceps and other things. And a V-bar as well. I also picked up a uh, single handle as well, kind of doing reverse tricep extensions with one hand. And in case I ever brought an additional um, spudding, you kind of like pull it down. I can kind of do reverse flies or something like that if I wanted to as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how I hook this up into my home gym and how I make it work. Alright, so what I've done is I've actually went to Home Depot, got an old school piece of pipe and some toilet bowl fitters and I just drilled this through the rafters. Um, I'm tall so I like it to be a little bit higher up. Got about two and a half inches of space up here. What I usually do is I take this piece and the uh, pulley here, wrap it around so you can see this. So I'm gonna take one of these uh, these handles off right quick. You just take this and you pull it straight through. Like so. Drop it down. And you're good to go. This is held nicely. I guess I put a lot of weight on this over the time. Once it hooks in there, only one loop will do. I used to have it on two, thought that was a lot. Now I just do it as one. And for now, we're just hooked up. Really nice. So as you can see, it hangs up just as it should. It's nice, it's tight, with no issues. Now, all you gotta do is roll the camera down a little bit. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to hook it up. So hold on one second, we'll do that. So a couple of things you could do is one, you could do your tricep extensions. I find I'm a little bit taller, so I have to stand back a little more, bring it out, pull it through. Um, you can also, like I said, I brought these new attachments. So I take these off, 
pop these bad boys on. And I can do things like overhead, tricep extensions, kneeling, extensions. You can do your tricep pulls, flip it up, do these. As you can see, this works for all of those great varieties. Um, one other thing is I love is the amount of weight that I can put on this thing. So I'll do my face pulls. I'll just step a little bit further back. I'm about to go over here in the corner. If the rack, if the bar isn't up. So yeah, overall, this is a great tool to add to your home gym. It's very versatile, very inexpensive. Uh, the quality, in my opinion, is really good. I haven't had any troubles with it. I've loaded up uh, several hundred pounds on there. Um, and also the way I load up into my ceiling, I have no give. I feel perfectly safe using it. I think Spudding came up with a great, great economical thing, space saver uh, for you to use with quality equipment, as well as um, accessories. The accessories, um, I got on Amazon. I think the whole package costs around $37. I'll definitely put a link in the description for that. Um, only complaint I would have really is um, the lack of accessories that they did have. Um, but like I said, it's not, nothing big. It comes with the straps here and they're good. I will say they do fray a little bit over time, but it doesn't take away from the integrity of the actual equipment itself. Like I said, I haven't had any dangers with it outside just swaying, but that's just me learning to control the weights. I do like it's a single pulley, so unlike the gym, I'm getting multiple pulleys in. I'm finding out what raw strength I have on certain exercises. Other than that, man, it's a great, great product. I recommend it highly. I also have a lot of other spud ink products. I recommend them as well. So if you're ever in town um, at the Arnold, check the guys out, meet them. Uh, also check them out on Amazon or check them out on their website, Spud Inc. I forget the actual website for now. I'll link it in the description as well. But it's a really great product. I highly recommend it. And um, thanks you guys for watching.